Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Words of Worship. You know, in the book of Joshua, there are two battles recounted in chapter 6 and chapter 7. And they have opposite outcomes. The first battle is a familiar one, where Joshua led the Israelites to conquer the city of Jericho. God gave them some specific instructions of what they were to do. The Israelites follow God's instructions and God was with them. And as the account goes, God caused the city walls and the buildings to crumble to the ground, allowing the Israelites to move in and take the city. The second battle is for the city of Ai. Now this city was much smaller and not as well fortified as Jericho. And when Joshua's scouts came back, they said, we don't even need to send our whole army to conquer this city. But when the Israelites went to take the city, they were routed by the men of Ai. And they chased them and struck them down, the Bible says. So why was there such a difference in the outcome of these two battles? In a word, obedience. You see, the Israelites were victorious at Jericho because they obeyed God's instructions. But they were defeated at Ai because the Israelites disobeyed God's command in the aftermath of the Jericho battle. The Israelites were told to destroy everything in Jericho except what the Lord commanded them. In verse 19, God told them, all the silver and gold and the articles of bronze and iron are sacred to the Lord and must go into his treasury. But in chapter 7, we read the Israelites did a disrespectful thing concerning the items reserved for God. Achan took some of the things reserved for God. So the Lord was furious with the Israelites. You know, sometimes in our lives, our bad choices lead to unpleasant consequences. And from these accounts in Scripture, we know that God desires for us to be obedient to Him. Our disobedience to God is often the cause of many of our unwanted circumstances and is disrespectful to God. We don't like to be told what to do or even worse, that something we're doing is wrong. But as Christians, that's why we read the scriptures, to grow in knowledge and to become more like Jesus. 1 John 5, 2 says, This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out His commands. In fact, this is love for God, to keep His commands. And His commands are not burdensome. Jesus said in John 14, 15, If you love me, keep my commands. Hey, try not to let disobedience make you miss out on a victory. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Kevin, and I hope to see you again next week.